I'm Brenda. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a energy reading for October 3rd and 4th. Um, so we'll just see what energy comes through. Um, please just take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, Message do I need to bring forth for today? Guidance for today. First one is achievement, which is completion and reward. The second card is family tree, expansion, and legacy. And the bottom of the deck is phase entanglement, emotional influence. The other cards that came out were the Prosperity card, the Confusion card, which is Many Choices and Uncertainty, and Past Life Guides, Karmic Lesson, Present Assistance. So we will just see what it, messages need to come out. It does look like a very good energy with past life guides helping and karmic lessons i see the achievement and prosperity um, it looks like there is a little bit of confusion going on so we will see where that is it just seems like you don't know maybe which direction you have maybe more than one choice but i believe any of those choices are going to lead you to the prosperity and the happiness and abundance you seek Mercury did go direct, so it is a really good time for forward action. Um, it is a good time to call on your ancestors and ask for help, especially if you are feeling the confusion in the current energy. Um, I know later in the week, Pluto is going to go direct, so that has an impact influence on our karmic lessons. Okay. The current energy is the moon and that is crossed by the star healing. Um, so those are both major arcana, so it does look like you are definitely being divinely guided at this time. Maybe working on some Chiron or some healing, some shadow issues, so definitely some very good energy. The foundation card is the Two of Wands, so maybe you are in a period of asking for something new, maybe wanting change in a relationship or, or a job or a situation, so maybe just daydreaming a little of what do you want. The immediate future card is the Six of Wands, which is the victory card of the achievement, you know. So that's a beautiful energy of being on the right path, making the right choices, doing the work. Um, definitely really good energy. The current headspace is the Knight of Wands, which is kind of more, you know, the forward action, definitely Sagittarius energy, you know. Definitely marching to the beat of your own drums, maybe spending a little more time alone and all these cards I see that it's just, you know, a single person. So maybe spending some time alone, gaining some clarity, working on your shadow and just finding what makes you happy. Um, in the recent past, we have the Five of Swords, so maybe some chaos and conflict and maybe that's why you've isolated yourself a little bit to gain a little bit of clarity. Um, your current environment is the hanged man, so definitely spending some time alone. Um, really um, just gathering your thoughts, um, getting some enlightenment. Um, she doesn't look like she's struggling. She looks like she's having fun, so maybe just try to find the joy in the journey. Um how others see you as the wheel. Um, there is a lot of major arcana in this. Um, so definitely in this card, she is also standing there meditating. Um, the wheel is turning. Um, 
it is a great time to move forward with new projects, a new job, a new move. I see a lot of water in these cards, so maybe a new trip coming up, but definitely a new cycle. Um, the Hopes and Fears card is the Five of Wands, which is, you know, more chaos and conflict. So, you know, that's always our fear. Sometimes the best way to work on that is just to really focus on the positive. Um, I heard something today and I, I thought I was going to try it. Every time you have a negative thought, replace it with three positive thoughts. And, you know, that's a great idea, you know, to really push that positive energy forward. Um, the outcome card is the Page of Pentacles. Um, with that, it's a new, you may be a new job, a new beginning, a new opportunity coming. Um, maybe a message of a gift. Um, so definitely a new, a new opportunity in the 3D, in the physical here. Uh, maybe just a text from someone. Um, we'll get some clarity on the overall energy. Uh, we get the Eight of Swords, so sometimes that's just, you know, that fear monster inside of us that, you know, if you really look in the card, she's fine. It's just, you know, the thoughts around her that have her tied up. She's easily able to clear those thoughts, so she needs to, I feel, just push forward in that positive energy, you know, really push forward. Um... The Knight of Swords is the quickest moving energy, the Four of Wands, you know, making that choice to see the positive things going on around you and your home life and your family, um, and finding balance, Two of Pentacles, you know, that's, you know, spending time, finding your balance, being very grounded. Um, once again, she is alone, so just maybe taking a little time for yourself to reflect on your feelings, try to fill them and not bury them. Um, and really just try to find your balance the overall energy on the bottom of the deck is the magician so now is a time where you can walk away from this chaos and confusion and really choose to manifest what you want um, the card underneath there is the sun and then the ace of pentacles so there is definitely an opportunity for a great new beginning a lot of it is your mindset you have to choose to Step away from the chaos and conflict and choose to be happy because nobody can make you happy. Happiness is something that comes from within through your self-love. So make sure you're just taking a little bit of time to celebrate even your small victories every day. Um, it doesn't have to be a big victory. Um, every step forward is a step forward. So that's definitely progress. So be happy with where you are. Um, and just know sometimes if we don't know the next step ahead, it's because we're not meant to know right now. And we just kind of follow the breadcrumbs and see where the path leads. Um, I will get a card for guidance from the Archangel Metatron deck. Two cards wanted to come out, which is the letting go card and the clarity. So... Maybe spending a little time. I also noticed that, you know, fall is happening here in the U.S. and the leaves are starting to change where I live. And I've definitely been working the last few days on doing a little more meditation and gaining a little clarity, getting centered, um, letting go of feelings and energies that no longer serve me. So if you're having a little bit of chaos and conflict, you know, try to just focus on the positive. Um, I know it's hard when you want to not think of something to, you know, intentionally say I'm not going to think about it because then we just tend to pull that right to the front. But that idea of taking those negative thoughts and turning them into positive ones is a great idea. So I am going to work on that and I hope you take that advice and do the same. And I hope this message reaches you well and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.